Need you for the old me. Need you for my sanity. Need you to remind me where I come from. Can you remind me of my gravity? Ground me when I'm tumbling, spiraling, plumb. Hey y'all, so today I'm using the Curadu handheld hair steamer for the first time. I'm just um, unboxing it. I'm gonna take out that little piece. I think they call it the reservoir. And then you open up that little pouch. <laughs> That we what it's called and pour some water inside of it they said it's better to use distilled water but i use tap water because i ain't had no distilled water and if it overflows a bit just pour it on your lap <laughs> go ahead and close it make sure you have that closed that little top part closed all the way so it doesn't drip into it and then you just stick it back in there and make sure everything is secure my hair it was in twist. I washed it the day before, so it was still a bit fresh, but I wanted to um, do a stretch twist out. So I'm going to use the Q Redu to stretch my hair. So I started by sectioning the back of my hair off into a medium section, and I'm going to use the Q Redu as if it's a comb, and I'm just running it through that section of my hair what it's doing is the steam is stretching out my hair it's getting rid of all my kinks and it's giving me like a nice stretched look i did go behind the cure do with my powder brush i think this is um crucial if you have really thick hair because just doing a cure do by itself would, wouldn't make my hair have that blowout look so i uh, used the powder brush to help um, kind of brush out some of those kinks and then i just braided the section down so it can remain stretched Again, I'm running the Q Redu through a medium section of hair as if it was a comb. And then I do go behind it with my powder brush so I can brush all the kinks out. And I'm left with a nice stretch section of hair. And then I braid it down to make sure it stays stretched while I do the rest of my hair. So the Q Redu does get really, really hot. You, if you continue to push on that button, you're going to let out a lot of hot steam. So what I did was I pushed on the button and then I ran through it. My hair probably like two times and then I would push on the button again so I wasn't continuously pushing on the button because it does get really really hot you just need a little bit of steam a little bit goes a long way so if you guys are new to um, knowing what the cure do is it's a handheld steamer and you can use it to detangle your hair you can use it to um, hydrate your hair like people use it when they do deep conditions and everything like that or you can use it to reshape and stretch your hair like what I'm doing today so far I'm really impressed with the cure do it did a great job of stretching out my hair Even though it has water, like it's releasing, well not really water, it's releasing steam, it's not, my hair isn't wet. Like after I brush it out, my hair is, isn't even wet right there. Like my hair is fully dry right there. And you can see how it's smoothed out the hair and how like it, it looks really stretched. I'm like, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm really impressed. So what I'm doing now is just taking down all my braids and then we're going to brush it out with my powder brush. Now you do not have to brush your hair out. Um, I just did this unnecessary step because I want to take some pictures of my hair and how big it was and the transformation. But you can go ahead and just move right on to the twisting part that I'm about to do in a minute. So for my style, I'm using whip shea butter that my cousin made me. It has shea butter, jojoba oil, olive oil, castor oil, and a whole bunch of other stuff she told me but I forgot. So I'm just getting a small section on my finger and then I'm just rubbing that into that piece of hair, making sure that it is all um, absorbed into that section of hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and twist it down like I usually do. And then of course at the ends, I'm gonna give it a twirl. That twirl is very important if you want your ends to be curly. Like at the end of the video, my hair, it has a lot of volume, but my ends are still curly and that's how I do it. So basically, I'm just gonna do this all around my head, adding some of the whip shea butter, um, twisting my hair down and then twirling it at the end. So we're gonna just fast forward. Ooh, look at those twists. Look at those stretch twists, y'all. I have a total of 30 twists in my head. And to sleep, I'm just going to put my bonnet on. Make sure you have all your twists in and make sure that they're flowing down in the direction that you want them to hang. Because you don't want them to get all crunched and stuff while you sleep. So it is the next day. And we're going to go ahead and start taking down these twists. I just simply go through each section and separate from the root. Believe me when you say like that. 
This is how my hair looks after the first um, separation, but I'm gonna go ahead and separate again. Now I was being very, very careful when I was separating because my hair was really, really soft and um, fluffy. So I knew that if I separated too much, then it would become frizzy. So whenever I was separating my hair, I would separate it where it naturally wants to separate. If you guys are looking, you can see that there's a natural space when I separate. So that's exactly where I would separate. Some of them, I couldn't do it because they didn't have that space, so I just left them alone. Some of them, I had to untwirl them a little bit and then separate them. So be very gentle and take your time on that step because it is crucial to a good hairstyle. So what I'm doing now is pulling out my hand picks. Y'all know that's my favorite. And I'm just making sure that I get all of the parts on my hair and give myself a little bit more volume so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment rate subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time bye because i love you just so you are hope you never find out who i really am because you'll never love